Okay, you got several things to discuss here, but first I want to start using it. I'm losing daylight. We'll get to that in a minute, right? Approximately 10 feet away. First time I shot this. Oh, I had the safety on, so I broke the, uh, the cartridge, but I didn't shoot it. I should have taken the off. Just break the cartridge and shoot at the same time. Whoa, that was no joke. Whoa, this is the first time I shot it and I think what I'm hearing is I'm hearing the uh, balls hitting the uh, plastic shed behind the cushion. And that cushion is pretty thick. Okay, I'm losing a little bit of daylight same distance. Uh, one hand on the bottom of the magazine. I think that was a little bit better. She has some kick to it. We're going to test that theory. I'm going to get a little farther away. I'm about 12 feet away. All right, pause it. We're going to do one more test. Can you guys see all those dimples there? <laughs> I just made those shooting the green inert and I don't think I pressed the record button. You might see a bunch of white little things all over the floor there where they broke up. Okay, last test, I think I missed the green inert uh, test. They all broke up. I, I thought that one or two of them didn't break up because the way how fast they went. Um, this is half of the CO2 cartridge. I already shot one. And I'm shooting the rest of the same CO2 cartridge with the second magazine. That last one was actually a couple more. And I don't want to get too close to it. You guys might have saw the dust come off the last one. So I'll just wait a second because I don't want to cough my brain down. Or start sneezing anything. Now you're going to see more dimples there. <laughs> uh, you guys a little bit closer. It's very accurate. Short distance. I forget. <coughs> oh shit. Okay, it's still hanging out in, <coughs> in the atmosphere even though <coughs> it went away pretty fast. I got to back off now. Okay, <laughs> now that we got over, that over, let's get to the discussion. That is amazing that it's <coughs> still hanging out. <coughs> Even though it blew away right away. It's still in the atmosphere and it's very diluted. <coughs> I'm gonna say probably maybe only 10% or 5% hanging out there. I wouldn't want to get hit by these guys. Okay, you guys, you saw our initial test. I sound funny because I had some extra work done. I, my bones haven't healed around the post, so I apologize if I sound a little bit weird. That was the first time I shot it, which you guys saw there. These are some of the rounds I shot several times, and I have to basically roll them on a to see if they roll funny. These are spent cartridges. You can put these on the bottom of the magazines to change color letting you know that one is pepper more and one might not be okay also another trick up my sleeve i'm gonna show you guys this is well worth the twenty dollars uh it says armor ammo armor excuse me i've seen on ebay for forty something dollars forty dollars for me Go to the site, they're much uh, less expensive, okay? Okay, goes like that. This kind of tricked me out here. I had to paint it black. There's an orange uh, on the bottom here where you blow the, the balls and the pepper balls. They got different names, kinetic projectile, pepper projectile. 
and this one is Eco Kinetic. So I got one that I believe is a test. It has like talcum powder or something in it. Let's see if I can show you on the other cartridge. Yeah, that looks incorrect. That's correct. This part here actually is metal. Where you take off the top part where the cartridge goes in front of the. I wonder if there's any cartridge, spent cartridge in here. Yep, I can feel the pressure. I'm gonna hit release in a second. Okay, so you're gonna feel some pressure when you release it after using the cartridge. I'm gonna say in such close range, 15 feet, one little eight ounce cartridge, you could easily go through speed magazines and you're good to go. You're not gonna have much problems. When you start shooting further, per se 25 feet or so, where you might only get the two cartridges before it starts lobbing the walls. So they just don't go travel straight, okay? Let's see if I can show you that there. Can you see the bottom there? It's actually orange. I don't have this fully loaded. Let's take these out one at a time. If you're not careful, they'll shoot out on you and you won't be happy. See the bottom there is orange, so it kind of threw me for a loop. I'm thinking, now wait a second. <laughs> Is that, do I have six shots in here? You only got five. You cannot load this, load one in here, and load another five won't work. Okay? You can load it in one shot. You don't have to load it in two shots. I'll show you. Oh, there's a ball in there. I just talked about not loading. You can see the indicator there is up. I hope you guys can see me. You guys can see that. I used a little pen here that says bright mate so I could mark it so I can see it better. I got all the eyes. The final screen you see here is called glow on. It actually glows in the dark. Uh, you hit a little light to it, flashlight, something like that for a few minutes. Not sure how long, but I'm gonna press this down indicator to get the last round out of the chamber. Okay, there it is. Okay, it's out. There's the spent cartridge. Hopefully you can see the hole in the middle. Now what I don't see people do is setting up the way they want it. Like normally you use sidearms, these so-called iron sights, even though they're plastic, it's just a general description. Um, people will put glow on there, like on a car, but some of them you can't change. Okay, uh and changing this to different color, the indicator is nice. I'm definitely gonna put a laser on here later on because I'm an older guy of 60, small. <laughs> Don't see very great. Uh, close up, excuse me. So it's harder for me to see the sights. I like the way it feels and if you guys see me shooting it, I didn't have a lot of trouble getting used to the trigger for the first time. I figured out why it wasn't difficult to put a trigger to go back all the way there's plenty of tension on the way back it brings your finger back Very clever design so far uh last thing is if you saw the last time boy broke and so did the uh practice rounds the eco kinetic uh, projectiles if the person you're trying to defend yourself from is indoors and there's a wall there he's close to it you can hit the wall with this with this uh, pepper ball around and you can uh let the uh material out and it'll most likely get them it will definitely slow them down that's pretty cool because they sense a long throw back and if you don't slow it back far enough the next round will not hit, enter the chamber something to note of okay besides this here i love that it's black here so that any light reflective light doesn't hit it and reflect it into your eyesight, whether it be day or night, you know, using it in your vehicle protection, something like that. It definitely has enough kick to it, I can tell you that. I felt not kick like a gun. Um, kick like, if that ball hits you in your skin and you got a t-shirt or something, you're gonna feel it. Okay, and I'm talking about from 20 feet, you're gonna feel it. Two of them hit you, <laughs> you're gonna wanna hit the guy who's, who's uh, shooting you with this launcher. It's not called a sidearm. Some people might call it a weapon. They could say, I believe they say this one is less to sell a 
extender here so you can use 12 gram cartridges instead of 8 gram cartridges and I think it's worth it if you take it in your truck outside stuff like that if for indoors it's not necessary this is primarily for indoors for me or close quarters uh, nothing else I don't intend to use it much I think it's totally worth it there probably was some instructions here they weren't that hard to figure out you guys got any questions for me there's gonna be around two where I set it up a little bit better probably have a third magazine and have a little more target practice and test it on different items okay hope you guys enjoy the video I'll see you guys in the next one bye